Thank you, Kat. Good afternoon, everyone. So I think we're covering a lot of ground today, and it's really exciting to hear about the new, new next generation in regenerative medicine therapies and what's coming down the pipeline. So I'd like to kind of temper the conversation about regeneration and really bring us back to the fact that regeneration can also be bad. So malignant regeneration and cancer formation can initiate from cancer stem cell populations. And cancer stem cells, by definition, can re regenerate the original tumor, whether this is in a patient at another metastatic site or in a mouse model. So there's different ways that we have developed uh, models to, to study cancer stem cells in leukemia, in solid tumors. So our esteemed speakers today uh, will be telling us, kind of will zoom in on the cancer environment from the microenvironment, Dr. Yana Saifantis will be talking about uh, the tumor microenvironment. So cancer stem cells and malignant tumor cells don't, listen, don't live in a vacuum, but they interact very closely with the cells around them. Uh, so we'll zoom in from the microenvironment into the cells, and we'll be hearing about the epigenetic and uh, genetic changes uh, later this afternoon that occur in cancer and cancer stem cell populations. So we'll start off uh, this afternoon with Dr. Yanis Ifantis, who is a chair and professor of the Department of Pathology at New York University School of Medicine. Dr. Ifantis is an internationally recognized immunologist and cancer biologist, specializing in the investigation of T-cell acute leukemia, T-ALL, a common form of childhood leukemia. His lab has recently expanded their scope to include the regulation of tumor progression and metastasis in selected solid tumors with an emphasis on cancer initiation mechanisms, including protein, epigenetics, and the tumor microenvironment. In 2009, he was named a Howard Hughes Medical Institute Early Career Scientist. So please join me in welcoming Dr. Yanis Ifantis. <laughs> <laughs> 